hybrid editing made easy. This real-life review is brought to you by ProShow. Motodex.com. This is Paula Thomas from Gapey's Grub, and I wanted to show you how I put together a video for the Seattle Underground Market event that I attended a couple of weeks ago. I have a combination of still photos and video clips and I wanted to play music in the background that stayed the same level. And there's not really a way to do that within Pro Show Web unless you mute the audio from all of your video clips. So that's what I, that's what I did here and I also used um, ScreenFlow to add some of that background audio back into the video clips. So if you go into Pro Show Web and go to all of your video clips, there's a mute option here on the lower right. So I went through and I muted all of the audio from my clips. And then I added a music file to the background. And you can either add your own music file or you can use one of the, the files in the music library within Pro Show Web. And there is quite a, a big selection of, of audio files to choose from. So that's what I did. I just I did it by tempo. So I chose a fast tempo and then I I selected a few different ones until I found one that I liked and then you just drag it up to there. And you can add more than one if you want to. So I just used one and then you go to the watch tab and build the video. And then once you build the video, then you can export it to your desktop. So I actually built two files within Pro Show Web, one with music and then one without music. So that was my first one and then I went back into the imagery and I put the sound back on all my video clips and then I went to the music tab and removed the music and then go to watch, rebuild the video and export it to your desktop. And then I took those two and brought them into ScreenFlow. So this is ScreenFlow and what I'm going to do is use this to fix my audio for my video. So first I'm going to just drag and drop the video that we exported from Pro Show Web with the music. So this is the one with the music file. Now I don't, all I want from this file is the music so what I'm going to do is right click and detach the audio. So now I have um, this top here is the, the actual video and then the bottom layer is the audio. So I don't want this video file so I'll just delete that. So I should have just the music. And then what I'm going to do is take and drag and drop the second one that I exported. And I'm going to keep this, um, the audio and the video from this. And so what we have here is the music is what I'm going to have as the primary audio. And there's an audio options up here. I'm going to leave that at 100% because I want that to be the loudest. Um, and then the second one here, I want that to be not as loud because I don't want it to compete too much with the music. So I'm going to take the volume down to about, about 35%. And then if you can see, I'll, I'll make this a little bit bigger. You can see that there's a really thin line and then there's a thicker line, thin line. So those thin lines is where the still photos are from the video that was in Pro Show Web. So when I play this, it's gonna, you're going to hear only music in those areas. So what I want to do is take audio from a second or actually a third file. And what I did is I picked my longest video clip and I'll drag and drop it over here and this is about a little bit less than a minute and I don't want the video from this I just want the audio so I'm gonna do the detach audio again and I'm gonna delete the video portion and then I'll drag the audio portion up to this third layer so this is gonna fill in the gaps so it's just going to be background noise and I'm going to make that down to 35% as well. So anywhere there's a gap I want I want this background noise to be in there. So I'm going to basically just duplicate 
So I'm going to do a control C and control V. And that put it up at the top. So I'm going to drag that back down. I think you can also do copy and paste. Alright, so we want this audio file anywhere where there's a gap so we can just move this around. And we might need one more, so I'm gonna actually, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna need one more, so I'll do another right click, copy, and paste, or you can do Control C, or Command C, or Command V. And then we'll drag this last one down here. So that should fill in all of our gaps from the audio. And this is the end of the video, so I don't want any noise, noise there. So I'm just going to drag and shorten that audio clip a little bit. So we'll go ahead and play it and see how it looks. So as you can tell, you can hear the, the music, and then you can also hear a little bit of the background noise from the event, which is just what I wanted and not something you can do in ProShow Web. So I was able to do that pretty well using ScreenFlow. You can see the full video over on my YouTube channel, and if you have any questions on ProShow Web or ScreenFlow, feel free to leave me a comment and I'll see if I can answer it for you. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to Discover Mirrorless, you can go to the website discovermirrorless.com, enter your email address, and subscribe here to get a weekly email of everything that's going on in hybrid photography and hear from all of our hybrid photographers. Hybrid editing made easy. This real life review is brought to you by ProShow. Photo